Ah, uh, g'day. Welcome. Everybody, new episode of Homemade Tools. This time we're in Asia. Cambodia to be exact. If you've never been around for one of these videos before, it is pretty much just me on site doing a little bit of a vlog. I do it over the course of months and months and months. Whatever homemade tools I find, whatever cool stuff I find, and whatever else I think might even be vaguely interesting. So, as always, this video is sponsored by Rebar and Scrap Steel. Have a look at this glorious patch of scrap steel I've just stumbled on here. This actually, this is like paradise. You can make absolutely anything, and it's all just free. First in best dressed. So, that's enough set up. Time to get into it. And the best place to start off is hammers. Have a go at this wrist shatterer. It's just a bit of scaff tube welded to a sledgy, so you can imagine the reverb you're going to get smashing that around. This little fella is the most common hammer you'll find. Big bit of Rio on a long skinny bit of Rio. There's so many different versions and variations of this. But right in this one area, I got the trifecta. I got the three in one, all different size hammers just sitting around. Most common, they always use Rio. But there's ladders made out of uh, lead screw, jack screws. We got chipping hammers made out of old chipping hammers and rebar. We got hammers made out of old hammers and rebar. We've got hammers that can hammer around corners. Also we use as a wedge if you get real stuck. Ooh, there's a little stumpy head on this little fella. We got hammers made out of bolts, chipping hammers made out of chipping hammers and rebar and conduit. And this is my ultimate favorite. They've made themselves chipping hammer out of pure Rio but you can never forget the shock absorbing spring. They've had a go. I'm pretty sure they were taking the piss and they put this spring on. Why you gotta stand on the table, man? Why can't you stand on the floor? I needed a big old spanner to tighten up some glands and I decided to whip one together out of just a bit of flat bar and some drops off the workshop floor. Uh, it came out quite nice. Obviously it's not the prettiest thing, but I use these shitty rods here and you know, then we sit on the bench in the jungle rain and all that, so don't like it. Well, yeah. Worked out pretty well. I got a little leverage off it. It really got the job done. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I only got about 12 uses out of this, and then it went and sat on the bench and never be used again, I doubt, but got the job done. This is a pretty cool uh, <coughs> string line holder, or just line holder, whatever you want to call it. It's made out of just a bit of plastic pipe. They've obviously just cut the ends, flared it out a bit, and it's a pretty neat storage solution, really. I've seen a lot of snakes in my time, but I've never seen one quite bounce like a spring like this little fella did. It was quite, quite impressive. So we had a little bit of a delay getting all the tool bags and tools to site, but this wasn't going to stop old mate. He sat down and he grabbed all the materials he needed and he just started making his own tool bag, lined it with duct tape, made it all strong, everything. I think he only got like two weeks use out of it before we got a new one, but it just shows he wasn't going to let anything hold him back. He was going to keep keep going and make it easy for himself, you know? If you want a table and chairs, you can have a table and chairs, but you're going to have to build it out of old pallets. So that's exactly what they did. It seems like every time I turn my back, they had my damn wearer. You see a lot of wheelbarrows and carts around, and at first you think, oh, yeah, it's just a busted old wheelbarrow, but then you realise this was made from scratch. They've bent up pipe, they've, it's just sheet metal and Rio holding the whole thing together. This whole cart, even down to the spokes on the rim, is all rebar. Like, everything you can think of in this wheelbarrow and this cart have just been made with bits and pieces they've found. You know, the spaced it out with a nut here. <laughs> it's all Rio, it's sheet metal, like, you know, ratchet strap, strap for carrying it, everything. Besides the tube and the tire and possibly bits of the rim, this is all just handcrafted, handmade. Nothing was bought, just scrap steel, let's make a car, and they're off. I don't know why this guy's on the table either. Absolutely love being up on the table. Hate standing next to it. These dinosaur screws out of Taiwan. Uh, you're probably not supposed to say Taiwan on YouTube anymore. But I love them. I'd buy these over and over again just for the Jurassic Park ripoff. Quick pause for a shout out to SafeStyle. Uh, they've been supporting me for a long time and I really do support them wholeheartedly. It's run by an ex-tradie, does a really good job and they're starting to really just take over the whole 
everywhere you see, they're safe style. I took a few over with me, handed them out. Dudes loved them. They were like prizes for good work. And all around, can't recommend them enough. Check out the description down below if you want some info. As always, the old flippy mask, the, uh, the tensioners for flipping. People over tighten them, snap them clean off. Um, a little homemade workaround, whack a couple of bolts in there. You might look a bit like Frankenstein, but it does the job and you can weld. Is it a bit of a stretch to say this is a homemade weather guard attachment for the Makita? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty fun though. Got the job done. You know there's some lads around with a bit too much time on their hands when you're finding iPhone holders. And it's in portrait too. Like you can't even have your phone in landscape. So I don't know. Who's watching shit in portrait? That's To me, that's the most upsetting thing. So every time I asked why the broom handle kept getting shorter, I just got mashed with cheeky grins until I realised that... They were just slowly taking a couple hundred mil off each day as they made more handles for their files. This looks like your stock standard bender. I don't know what you're thinking. Where's the homemade? Ah, there's the Rio. Everything needs to have a little bit of Rio. Homemade ladder out of cable ladder. Oh, you're looking for trouble. Obviously someone couldn't quite get the 20 mil hole where they wanted the 20 mil hole, so they've actually taken the innards out of a diner bolt and uh, <laughs> welded it on the end there to make a little extension so they could get that hole in there. Bad job of keeping it straight either. This here, the uh, threads on the actual hole saw itself were stuffed. We had plenty of arbors, so tacked it up. And that did the rest of the job like this. It was one of the most used hole saws. So, the Filipino lads wanted a, a gym, so they got some plastic pipe, some metal pipe, they've cast it in some concrete, and they've welded up out of scrap bits and pieces a, a full bench press. They've also made uh, some smaller versions over here. You know, same deal, bit of conduit, bit of plastic, rah, rah, rah. You might notice these cable stands. I oh, actually welded these up for putting drums on earlier on in the piece. Uh, they seem to have commandeered them and taxed them, but as long as they're being used, I'm happy with that. But yeah. Don't go without. If you want to get pumped, make your own. It's certainly one way of cleaning the dust out of the, <laughs> out of the hole. Yeah. So I was looking for some steel for a little project I was working on, and I noticed this, and I knew exactly what this was straight away from my own shenanigans. I knew someone was making knives. And it took a little bit of convincing people to tell me who it was, but I found them. And look at these. Oh, it's only for cooking and stuff, but you could probably make a deadly weapon. Not really a homemade tool, but just a little look at down in the mud, you know, pulling cable. See how it's all done. Different little setups we all have. This is a sample taking pot. It's basically just a really long bit of Rio with a bit of pipe with a cap on it and a handle so you can dunk it into different tanks and get samples of different slurries and whatever. I mean, it is as simple as that. Why would you ever buy something like this when you can whip it together and it will last forever? This guy scared the life out of me. I was riding along on my motorbike and he just came running out in front of me and he was huge. Yeah. So I got off. Had a look, he didn't seem to light me around, so I left him alone after this. Always adapt and overcome to any situation. <laughs> I was following this guy for quite a while, and it turns out he was one of my lads. He, he's found himself some plastic, made himself a raincoat. It's not because he wanted to work in the rain, he just didn't want to lose his machine before someone else stole it. So he, he's like, I'm going to drive it in the rain to where I want it. Happy as mud. Good lad. Out of all the little critters and stuff that I've seen in the jungle, I did not expect to see a crab. He just showed up in the sun one day. It's kind of like the mud crabs we get in Australia and that. But this was in the middle of the jungle. Just a crab showed up in the sun. Pretty cool. So we're coming to the end of the, the first instalment of this. I've got a lot of footage I've got to edit down and stuff. So I figured instead of trying to jam it all into one big long episode that most people won't get through, they only get about halfway before they drop off or whatever. I'll make smaller bite-sized pieces, so look forward to another one coming in a week or so. 
but on top of that, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing is.